I think amongst the things we intend to do is make NAM relevant and sit on the high table with the, with the main players. For many years, members of NAM uh, have been sidelined, have been ignored, and have been bullied, and been intimidated, and been lectured upon by the so-called police people, countries, police countries of the world. I think the time has come for us. We, we, uh, so, we are sovereign, independent countries in NAM, all of us by our own rights. I think the time is now right for us to uh, send a very strong message that uh, this cannot, we cannot continue uh, in the same mannerism we have done for the, for the last 55 years after independence. We have come to age, we are capable of managing our own affairs, and uh, we cannot be told what to do or know what to do. And we should be, do what, uh, what to, is in our interest. Welcome, welcome again, guys, to the WSXM podcast where a United Africa is an army to Africa. So, let's take a listen to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Uganda. He's speaking at the NAM summit and he's explaining the reason why we need to stand up to the West. Let's take a listen. Boom. And, and if there's any mistakes in those, uh, in, in those decisions, they are on our own uh, mistakes, but not mistakes of others who have lectured us on how to do or manage our affairs or not to manage our affairs. If you look at the, the membership of NAM, and you see the membership of uh, G, the G77 uh, plus uh, China. Uh, China, you'll come to appreciate that uh, all, all these countries are, are more or less uh, underdeveloped countries, and they're and they classified as, as such uh, by World Bank. But nevertheless, they from a very big, significant uh, population and number of countries in the world. And there's a block that could be very influential in determining many uh, issues on the world stage, in the international, in the, in the United Nations and other international uh, forums. The amount of uh, GDP together that those countries have, the amount of uh, uh, natural wealth that those, those countries uh, ha have, human resources have, uh, are so, is so powerful that if uh, properly uh, managed, properly uh, uh, correlated, uh, can uh, do wonders in, 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 uh, in the world. And what is important between the members of NAM and the members of G77, the usual colonial uh, mentality of divide and rule that uh, they always bring amongst us. We, uh, we as the members of NAM, we as members of G77, can be exceptionally powerful. In our own rights, we don't have the nuclear weapons, we don't have those magnificent guns and so on and so forth, but the, our numbers count, the, our, our natural resources count, and, uh, uh, and, and these can be used as a force uh, if we could uh, be more cohesive and more coherent in, uh, in managing our affairs. It is a very com com complex and, uh, navigation, uh, so to say, because... Uh, it has come to a level more recently. Either we are with us or not, not, not with us. But nevertheless, if, uh, as I said earlier, we need um, a leadership of steel. We need leadership uh, who can put their foot on the ground and tell of those school ground bullies uh, that uh, and we will not take the, that nonsense from you. They have thrown everything at us and so far we have survived and they will continue throwing many things at us to, uh, to, to break our back. But we will try and resist as long as possible. This kind of attitude of, uh, of bullying, or intimidating, uh, finger pointing uh, has to come uh, to, to uh, an, an end. We all come from different social backgrounds. We all have different values, different traditions, different ways of life. But we cannot have a universal way of life a university, a uh, universal tradition, it, it, it is virtually uh, impossible. So, but there are some basic principles that the world over, we, uh, one has to respect. The issue of human rights, we don't have to be lectured about issues of human rights. There's no champion of, of human rights. Those countries who lecture us about human rights, if you look closely to the issue of human rights, they're worse than, than ours. If you see that the wars that they have caused the world, they have, they have caused more wars since the Second World War in a single country like Uganda. There are more people who have been killed, more country people have been killed in their wars <laughs> than, than, uh, we, we, than during the, 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 the Second World War. And they lecture us about human rights. We respect in the Middle East, we say that uh, in the case of Israel and 
Palestine, we, we, we are calling for a ceasefire, we are calling for a peaceful negotiation and a political solution to the war. We, are, we could go back to the principles that Israel and Palestine can be two states living side by side in a peaceful manner. These are basic principles that we should all respect. But the, the big, so so-called big players often uh, and, and many times uh, do not play by the same rules, but expect us to play by the same rules. The absence of Africa in the UN Security Council is a historical injustice. Over 75% of discussions in the Security Council is about Africa. Africa has been deliberately marginalized from being on the table in the, in the UN Security Council. Africa has one position under the C10, under the, what we have called it as a C10. We have something called the Ozzolini Consensus. Two permanent seats with veto rights in the Security Council. And that's what we want. We don't want anything more. We don't want anything less. That is that is speech, and um, it's self-explanatory. There's not much I can add to what he's saying. I will just elaborate a little bit. Like he said, we have to stand up to the schoolyard bullies, which in, he meant stand up to the West, the Americans, the Europeans, the English, the Germans, the whole shebang of them. And we may not have nuclear weapons or a big army, but we do have the population of a 4.4. Um, we have, we have like four, 4 billion with all the member states combined and resources. We have all resources. We don't need to stop export our resources or our materials. They have to come get them at, the, at, the, at our market value, not at an underpaid, um, uh, lesser value. And we need someone who can stand up to them, like President Museveni, um, President Manam Gagwa of Zimbabwe. We have President ABM Theory of Burkina Faso. The Junta from Niger. So there are a few, a few um, presidents that they cannot be pushed around and they will stand up to the West and put their foot down on this. This is this. Like they kick Uganda out of the Agot, um, uh, what of the Agot program, which where they can ship things to the US um, for, um, without taxation. And they thought that because of Uganda passing the, the anti the LGBTQ. Law, they think that would um that gave the God gave them the, the, the go ahead to sanction um Uganda and but you're gonna still stay strong and tell them nope, we're not changing our mind. But now we're gonna work with it with uh we're gonna get to go to the Chinese market and the Russian market, which is a bigger market than the American market. Short term, it's gonna be a little bit troublesome for the country, but long term, with China becoming our new market. Will will um explode even bigger when it comes down to finance and the same America the day they're still gonna return and and, and work with Britain and that's America they whatever is in their best interest is what they choose to do. So when they realize it's in their best interest to work with Uganda, they're gonna come right back to us. And they're very hypocritical anyway because Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and all those countries have strong um anti LGBTQ global. Yeah, they still are partners with them. But they pick on Africa because they can bully Africa, but no more because they can now, we can now trade with, with, within our own currency with the BRICS. And so we don't need, we need to get it off the American dollar and the continent and a whole for us to, so they can be sanctioning us and um, using the currency to manipulate and bully us into submission. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. As always, tell us, tell us, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Boom.